Hi, I'm Karen Akunowitz. I'm the executive chef at Myers & Chang here in Boston. I'm here today doing a workshop for Plenty, Love and Spoonfuls Culinary and Nutrition Program. What we're gonna do today is show how to take an ingredient um, and stretch it as far as we can. So we're going to make a roast chicken with brown rice, broccoli, and tomatoes. And we're gonna turn it into uh, a Vietnamese style soup for the next day, as well as a chicken and broccoli stir fry. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna roast our chicken. This is so simple. This is a really easy way to get a perfect roast chicken every single time. The first thing we wanna do is we want to season it. We're gonna start with salt and pepper. And make sure that it's all over the skin. That's what's gonna make it really delicious. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon on top of this. We've got some olive oil on there. And I'm gonna rub all of this into the chicken. I'm gonna stuff this little bit of lemon into the cavity. And make sure that it's really well coated. Okay. So what I've done ahead of time is I've preheated my oven to 450 degrees. And that's gonna go for about 40 to 50 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna get our rice ready. So we have one cup of brown rice, we have two cups of water. And I'm going to put this on a medium heat and we're gonna cook it for about an hour. I am also going to pop a lid on this. About 10 minutes into this, I'm gonna stir the rice. I'm gonna fluff it with a fork. This is a great way to make perfect rice. This is just gonna be a little bit of sliced tomato on the side, and then we're gonna dice it up for our soup for tomorrow. Same thing. I always end up having, there's only two people in my house, so we never eat a whole one of anything. Um, and then we're always trying to figure out what to do with the leftovers. And one of the things I'm gonna to do to make this really delicious is we're just gonna add a little bit of salt to it. It's nothing fancy, it's nothing that you don't have in your cabinet. That's gonna bring out all of the sweetness from it and really make it special. The last thing that we're gonna do is we're going to blanch a little bit of broccoli. Um, one of the things, we're gonna make this a little bit easier for tomorrow. Before we get to the, the florets, the branches on the trees as my nieces like to say, um, we're gonna use this the broccoli stems for our meal tomorrow. So we're gonna slice this really thin and we're gonna use this for our stir fry. So we're gonna set this aside because we're not gonna use this with our chicken. But we're prepping it as we go because then you're gonna save time tomorrow and it's already taken care of. We've got a pot of water that's boiling over here. We're gonna blanch it it's really for about a minute, just until it gets soft. And the way that I always tell is I look at it, and when it goes from green to bright green, that's how you know that it's ready. So we're gonna check on the chicken in the oven. Yes. So this looks great. We're gonna check on our rice, which is done. I said you can kind of fluff it with a spoon or a fork, it looks awesome. So we're going to take out the breast from the chicken and we're going to carve the whole thing up. I typically, I'll make a whole chicken and just pick at it in the refrigerator. This is a much better way to get your money's worth out of this. So I've taken the breasts off of the top. That's the way that we roasted it um, with the breasts of the bird up. Then we have the thighs. Great thing about these, we're just gonna pop them off like this, easy peasy. Great. We've got the little wings, and we're gonna pull all of the meat off of the chicken. If you turn it over, you've got the oysters, you've got some dark meat in here. We're gonna take the carcass of the chicken, all of these bones, and we're gonna pop it into a little pot. Water to cover. And when we get a second, we're gonna chop up some carrots 
and some onions and throw all of that in. We're gonna simmer it for about an hour and all of a sudden you've got chicken stock. Take some of the dark meat. I'm gonna slice some of the breasts. Brown rice. We're gonna add some of that broccoli. Our roast chicken. And last but not least. And that is your healthy roast chicken dinner. Cut to day two. One of the things I love about this soup is that it's light, it's filling, it's packed full of flavor um, and it's almost no cook. I'm heating up the stock that we made in the microwave. There it is. So super easy. We're gonna take the rest, the leftover broccoli that we used yesterday with our roast chicken dinner and we're gonna chop it up pretty small. We are also going to take the rest of those tomatoes and we're gonna dice those as well. And we're going to divide this between these two bowls. But we're gonna add all of this roast chicken. The thighs are particularly good. All of that dark meat is really, really beautiful in this soup. And we're gonna add both of these to the bowls. We're gonna grab our chicken stock from the microwave. And we're gonna season it a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit of this fish sauce. This is gonna give it a little bit of saltiness. We're gonna add two tablespoons. This is about a quart of chicken stock, which is what we got from that, from that carcass. And we're gonna pour the broth right over the vegetables, right over the raw tomatoes, over all of that roasted chicken. That lemon that we squeezed over the chicken yesterday, we're gonna add it to the soup. There you go. We've got our Vietnamese inspired chicken soup. Okay, so the last dish that we're gonna make from our roast chicken is a chicken and broccoli stir fry. You're gonna start off with a hot pan. Don't be afraid of the heat. You're gonna get it ripping hot. You're gonna pour about a quarter of a cup of um, oil into your pan. You're gonna add a little bit of sliced garlic and a little bit of sliced ginger. And you're gonna cook the garlic until it dances. Um, and when it starts to dance and it gets a little golden, you're good to go. We're gonna start adding the rest of our ingredients. Our broccoli. And then we're gonna add, remember we chopped up those broccoli stems? We're gonna add the last bit of those tomatoes as well as the broccoli stems to the dish. So we've added the broccoli stems, the broccoli, the tomatoes, as well as that garlic and the ginger to the dish. We're gonna give this a little bit of salt love. And you can hear it kind of sizzling. It's starting to smell really good. Um, once you see, you want the broccoli stems to be a little bit soft. Um, and once you see that happen, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna add your rice to the dish. One of the things that I always say about making a fried rice or a stir fry that has rice in it is you want the amount of vegetables to be the same as the amount of rice. So we're gonna start till you can see this dissolving and it's all starting to cook together. We're gonna season this a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit of soy sauce, about a tablespoon or two, and get it to start sizzling again. The last thing that we're gonna add is we're gonna add that chicken. And you got your chicken and broccoli stir fry. So remember, one whole chicken, one head of broccoli, two tomatoes, and a few extra ingredients, two cups of brown rice, and we had a meal for three days. This is an awesome way to stretch your dollar and make sure that you're feeding yourself and your family awesome, healthy food. Thanks for watching this Plenty Workshop today. For more information on what we do and why we do it, visit loveandspoonfulsinc.org.